Hi there, welcome to Exposed TV brought to you by Stelt Productions. I'm Sarah, your host for the entirety of this episode. Now, we know we've taken a hiatus, but we know it's the exact right time to be back after we were greenlighted the interview with this musician that we're featuring today, Frank Persico. Now, some of you may have known of uh, Frank, and some might not, but truth be told, get used to hearing that name, Frank Persico. And here he is with us in the Stealth Production Studios. Hello. Welcome to Exposed TV. How are you, Frank? I'm great. I'm very good, thanks. Sure. Now, we've been meaning to have you on this show for quite some time, mm -hmm. so we're really happy that you're able to lend us some of your thanks time. Thanks for having me. Now, you are a Queens born and raised singer, songwriter, and guitarist. Yep. Personally, personally, I feel, coming out of Queens, you have to try doubly hard to get recognized. Now, you can dispel that for mm -hmm. me, you know, uh, just my opinion. Um, but it begs the question, did you always want to be in the music realm and from like what age? Do you still feel that way? What's your Uber uh, limit? Where do you want to go with your music? Um, well, where I, where I ultimately want to go is I want to continue to improve my songwriting and just get my music and my songs to more people and get them to get people to like what I'm doing. Hope that people will like what I'm doing yeah. and just have that grow to be something larger than it is right, right now. And I, I feel from the style of your music, which is a fusion of folk, rock, alternative, R&B, mm -hmm. it's, it's quite a layout and I, I feel like a lot of, that makes you sort of uh, that musician of the world, which I feel musicians ought to be that way, mm -hmm. but a lot of time musicians tend to concentrate on a particular genre and you have quite a bit of a layout there and how does that fusion help with your songwriting, your music writing? Well, it's 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 more of just a. It's not really a, an intentional fusion. It's I love what I consider to be great songs. So they could be from the Beatles. They could be from Billy Joel. They could be from James Taylor. They could be from Paul Simon. They could be from Marvin Gaye. They could be from any great song. So because I like a lot of great songs that are in a lot of different styles, it tends to go into my into my writing. You see? Yeah. So it's, it's kind of just the side effect of the stuff I listen to. Got it. So, uh, and I've been privy to a lot of your work um, from your producer side. Mm -hmm. You've produced lots of uh, tracks for musicians like Deflex. Mm -hmm. You've done work for Stealth Productions in the past. So I've known that side of you. Now, here you are doing, yeah. we're seeing a different side of you. Yeah. And it's a rare thing to see musicians write their own music. Um, especially coming with your background as a producer. So what, what really influences your music? Well, I, I really, what influences my music is the, the, the music that I enjoy playing, other people's music. So when, when I, I want to emulate the, the people that I love to listen to. I want to I feel that in myself when, I, when I'm writing songs. You know, I want to write a song that reminds me of what I like about other songs that I think are great. Okay. That's the best way I could probably explain it. Sure, and uh, so I'm sure there's lots of people that you think about that uh, write music or wrote music that transcends time. Who are some of those and how does it really work back into uh, your music? Well, I think a great song just has the ability to appeal to someone of any age. It could be a male, it could be a female. It's just a, 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 a great song is, 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 is timeless. Like you said, I, I think if you want names, I would have to say the Beatles, Paul McCartney, okay. that type of music. It's just timeless songs and it could, it could work in, any, in any, uh, any time period. You know, it's, the songs are just as good back then as they were today. I'm not, I'd, I'd like to find, I, you know, you want to find your own voice and be yourself which will automatically make you current, I guess. But I think my music tends to harken back to more of a classic era of music. Okay. Who are some maybe modern day people that not necessarily look up to, but that you can sit oh, back and lot. enjoy? I mean, I think Bruno Mars is amazing. I mean, yes. if you want to say modern day, he's a young kid. And he's, yeah. You know, and again, his songs, yes, they're modern, but 
they have a timeless character. You hear them, you feel like you always knew them, yes. but yet they're not. They're not like a. They're not. They're they're, they're catchy and they're they're new sounding, but they're familiar sounding at the same time. That's a tough thing to do, and he does it really well. In my and opinion. I and I I feel your music has done that too. Well, so I. If you say so. <laughs> yes, I do, and uh, I I strongly feel uh, that way. And with that, I'm hoping that you would showcase a bit for our audience sure. so they can know exactly what I'm talking about that uh, Frank is a little iffy about. But uh, yes, let, let, let us all be uh, the judge of that. Mm -hmm. So you would play one for us? Definitely. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, I give you Frank Persico. Let's stay home. 
was Frank Persico, a name we want you to remember. So Frank, being a Queens native and performing mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the time, what are some of the hot spots that you've performed at in Queens and outside of Queens because you're really... Oh. I, I play, there's several bars that I play regularly at in Queens and lounges. I play at the lounge at Vetro mm -hmm. once a month for the last three years. I play at Thai Rock and Dalton Seaside Grill in Rockaway because Rockaway Beach has a, a real up-and-coming music scene, especially independent music scene. Um, and then I do, you know, my couple shows a year, like I think, I believe you came to the Bitter End. Yeah. I, I'll do my original music at the Bitter End in the city, uh, down in the village. Um, but really, I'm focusing a lot of my energy on my Reverb Nation page, which is uh, ReverbNation.com forward slash Frank Persico, where that's kind of like your that's that's your stage to the whole world. Right. So I'm I'm trying to really uh, focus on my interaction with fans on that page. So I. And for uh, fans who or viewers that are now getting to know you, they can come on to Facebook, like your page there. Mm -hmm. uh, you're also on the. You have a website. I have a website. Mm -hmm. um, you can Google Frank Persico, or you can, and you'll find you'll find all of my, all you know, the all the all the likely suspects. You know, right. my Facebook page, my Reverb Nation page, um, and that's a way to just get get in touch with me somehow. I, I would like to have people join my mailing list, which they could do on the Reverb Nation page, because then that's a way that we can continue the interaction, <laughs> um, and I could let you know about you know new songs and new videos and just what's been going on. A lot of exciting things have been going on. I'll be featured on the Reverb Nation's homepage for an entire week, which wow. for me is exciting. How big of a deal is that, like to a musician that gets that far? I didn't realize how big of a deal it was until they told me, until they told me that I was going to be a featured artist on the homepage and, I, and then it hit home. I'm saying, wow, this site has millions of people that go to it and it's a world, it's a worldwide web you know it's right. a worldwide site um i don't know how I, I i don't know how big of a deal it will be when it's all said and done but i know that it it definitely is better than not being on the home page right <laughs> so i'm happy about it yes, you know yes. so it makes me feel a sense of accomplishment to think that when i joined it just a few years ago when i was at number 200 300 mm -hmm. in my genre it was exciting to me just to get into the top 10 let's say mm -hmm. now i've hit the point where i've hit number one i've come back but to think that I would be even have a, to be able to get on the homepage even for a short amount of time was yeah. I, I didn't think that was even possible. So I'm happy about it. And this is the reason why I said get to know the name Frank Persico, <laughs> <laughs> and you do want to be able to check out some of his work, uh, his his music. You can definitely hear the caliber of music that comes out of Frank by checking out his debut album, which. We do have, it's the Reminder, uh, it's on iTunes, on iTunes, CD Baby and other online yep. retailers. You can search Frank Persico on iTunes, you can find all my, all my material. Okay, mm -hmm. and uh, what else is, uh, is in the Frank Persico's camp that we should know about? Well, Surprises. I'm, I mean, I'm, ex I'm excited now, I'm, I'm, I'm just about to put out uh, a new EP called Salutations from Ozone Park. Speaking oh. of Queens, yes. I'm representing my hometown, my mom's hometown, and my grandmother's hometown, pretty much, of Ozone Park. Uh, and it's called Salutations from Ozone Park. Just, It's kind of a spoof on, on greetings from Asbury Park, Bruce Springsteen. It's just yeah. my showing of love for, for somebody that I think is amazing. Yeah. But it just thought it was kind of funny and clever. And I'm, it's just songs written from a guy from Ozone Park. So what better name, right. you know? Right. I'm, I'm excited about the fact that it's coming out, and I love the songs on the Reminder. It was done a few years ago, and I've I've grown from there, and I've developed, and I'm in a new place now, and I'm happy with where the music is now, just like I was happy with where this music was, right. you know, at, at that, that time. At that time of your life. So I'm excited to share it, and I've, from what I've seen on Reverb Nation, again, the feedback for the new stuff has been good. I have a new song called When Love Was Blind that I dropped as a single on iTunes, which will be on the EP. Okay. And um, that represents like the, new, the newer sound of, of, uh, of my material. So Frank, I've also heard that you've been picked up by a radio station, so tell us a bit about that. that. That's not true. No? <laughs> no, I, I got picked up by a small internet radio station called TRS 24-7 Radio. And um, they've been playing a few of my songs in rotation and sending it out to their Twitter followers. and. It's just, you know, it's, uh, I'm going to be, they're going to do an interview on me 
and I believe I'm going to be on their homepage as well. That's in the works. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I guess I did get picked up by a small internet radio station, and a really great internet radio station, I gotta say. Great, that's that's awesome mm -hmm. news. Yep, it's pretty exciting. I hope you go out and look for Frank, look up Frank, and uh, enjoy his music. Um, there's lots there that uh, you're going to fall in love with. And, uh, and, and at some point, you know, catch him live. You'll figure all of that out once you uh, get to know him a bit more and find him on all the various uh, social media websites. On that note, Frank, we want to thank you so much for being on Exposed TV. And uh, hope that it's not the last. Please come mm -hmm. again whenever. Just let us know. Thanks for the opportunity. And thanks for everybody who's gone to my Reverb Nation, joined my mailing list, and got the emails about the shows, come down and showed me support, um, and the internet radio stations that have played my music. Um, just having feedback from people to see that they really like my work and my music is what gives me the courage, if you want to call it that, to keep, to keep doing it, to think that it's worth, worthwhile to people. You know? So I'd like to thank you for having me, and I'd like to thank everybody who's listened to the music so far. Hopefully there'll be a lot more people yeah, we're hoping for that. We're, we're rooting you on. So thank we're cheering. We're out there. We're your cheerleaders. And to you, our audience, we thank you so much for joining us today. Whether you're a first timer or you followed Exposed TV over the years, we thank you for joining us. Once again, we thank uh, Frank for being on Exposed TV. And to you, until next time, I'm Sarah for Exposed TV, coming out of Stuff Production Studios. Shirts inside out, but you said it's fly, said you like my style and